everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh and today I wanted to pop on here to answer what has to be one of the most commonly asked questions I've gotten since starting my YouTube channel many months ago. And that is when we buy a new car. So for example, this is our absolutely incredible brand new 2023 GX 460. Do we do anything in particular to protect the paint and the bodywork and just kind of try to keep the car looking as good as we can for as long as we can? And we actually do. So this vehicle just came home from our amazing detail team at Authentic Details. I, this video is not sponsored by them. I paid out of pocket for everything they did to this car, which we'll get into here in a minute. And what we always do to all of our cars, the 4Runner, the RAV4 Prime, now this GX, is what's called paint protection film. And what paint protection film is, is a layer of film that's placed on top of the paint and then heat shrunk to fit the contours and the details of the vehicle. And what that does is as you're driving along, either on the highway, for example, or if you drive through like construction, there's a ton of stuff just in the world in general that can fly up off the road and hit your car. So what paint protection does, especially for the, like a beautiful, nice car like the, this GX, is it gives it a layer of armor on the car that hopefully mitigates. Now it's not gonna prevent if like a giant rock or boulder, okay, flies out of a dump truck and comes and knocks your car, it still might dent it, but small road debris, small rock chips, dents, even if someone were to sideswipe this car, maybe with a shopping cart or with a door or whatever, the very first thing it's gonna make contact with is the paint protection film and not the actual paint on the car. This happens to be eight millimeter thick PPF, which is a nice thick layer. Again, doesn't change anything about the appearance of the car, but it gives it enough of a cushion. So any, again, pebble, rock, door, shopping cart is more than likely going to just scratch the PPF and not actually the paint underneath. And that's the big benefit of doing this because once this car has got a ton of exposed bodywork, metal bodywork, the fender here has no protection from the road. Once you get a scratch or a ding in a metal piece of the car, it's over and you're done. So now what I'm gonna do is show you in detail, take you in a little bit closer than you are right now, and we'll take a look at all the work that they did. And they did seriously an amazing, amazing job. So thank you to Kevin and team at Authentic Details for the amazing work. Now let's get into detail and see what they did. Okay, so the very first thing I wanna show you are the hood and the fenders, because these were the two big important pieces for me that I really, really wanted protected on this GX. One of the things I love about this car is that we don't have any body side cladding. So the way a lot of SUVs, like the new GX, have a strip of unpainted plastic here on the fender right above the wheel well, this car does not have them, and I love that look. But the problem is when you don't have any of that cladding on the side, it means anything that comes up off the tires, off the wheels, off the road, gets kicked right up into a piece of metal. That's metal, you can hear that. So what we had them do was actually do a full front wrap on this car, which means everything on the hood up here, all the way to the cowl, and then also all the way down here to the bottom of the running board on this metal fender here, this is fully wrapped in paint protection film. So as you feel it, as I run my hand along it, you can feel that it is a film surface, not a, it's not just the bare metal. So again, really important because anything that's gonna come off the road from the front of the car, probably gonna hit somewhere in this general region right here. And once you hit, again, if you take off any of the paint and you dent the metal and you know expose the underlying metal surface here in the car, especially on this GX like this, you're done, it's, you're done. So the paint protection film doesn't just end like here at the edge, it actually carries all the way through underneath and wraps around into the wheel well. So even if something were to hit the leading edge of the fender, the leading edge of the hood, anything like that, it's gonna be protected. So really, really important there. Okay, the next area I wanna show you here is the front of the car, but specifically the headlights the turn signals, the fog lights, and the uh, washer nozzles here, because this is a premium plus, we have headlight washers. All of this, okay, this whole section, including the headlight lens, the fog light lens, and the turn signal light lens here, have that layer of plastic film on top of it. So again, same thing, if something were to hit the headlight, hit any of this bodywork here, this is plastic, so it's not nearly as bad if something were to hit metal, but still, 
that to replace this whole bumper piece would be pretty expensive if I got a bad enough ding or scratch. So paint protection film still important up here as well. It even goes all the way down to this painted bar that we've got running beneath the grill and the bottom of the, the kind of air dam here. So this whole thing, again, same thing, wrapped in PPF all the way to the painted edge. So no leading edges are exposed. Same thing with this. You can't even tell, this is incredible. They did an incredible job. I have to give them credit. To have the wrap fit so nicely and not even be able to see a seam, incredible. Okay, next up, let's take a look at the mirror. And this thing, again, same thing. The entire, all the painted surface of this mirror is wrapped in that PPF film. So all the way from the top here, this edge down here, around the light as well. Again, same thing, we've got film there. The only thing that's not protected here is this under the matte plastic kind of under cap on the mirror, but the whole rest of the mirror here, fully protected, absolutely beautiful. Anything hits this, it's gonna hit the PPF and not the painted mirror cap. All right, and finally, here you are off the tripod because I wanted to do this last section, the bottom piece here, handheld, so you could see up close and in detail what an amazing job they did. So again, this front fender, fully wrapped. The front door, however, as we move down here, you can see, maybe you can see, I don't know if you, know if you can see this, there's a seam for the paint protection film right here where my fingernail is. This is about a five inch strip or so from here down to the bottom of the door. And then the other thing that they did, they call it the track pack. So this job was sort of a modified track pack. But what they actually did was they wrapped this entire uh, painted section that runs along the running board all the way down underneath to pretty much, yep, the edge of the painted surface down below here. And then again, the wrap continues around the side here. So anything that hits this from the front angle, again, this leading edge right there, gonna be protected. And this is the section on GXs that I see the most wear when I see these on the road because you've got a painted surface about what, seven, eight inches off the ground, off the road. When this starts to look bad, it starts to look bad. And I definitely didn't want that for our car. Especially, again, if we ever go to resell this for any reason, which I don't plan to, but if we were to go to resell this, keeping body trim like this, especially painted body trim like this, in good shape goes a huge way to getting you a better resale value and keeping the car looking really, really good for as long as you can. Now here, you can see where some of the custom work starts. So again, this body, the, the door panel here, this rocker panel uh, film is not part of what they call, is not part of the standard track pack. This is all custom work, but they did a beautiful job. So you can actually see again, here's that seam, runs up along here. And this is a custom cut that they did because again, with the side of the GX, we have no cladding, no protection, to keep things, road debris, rock chips from hitting the side of the car and painted fenders. So what we had them do was, again, you can see that through here, there's about a five or so, I'd say, inch strip that runs along the wheel well. Everything, the painted, the paint protection film tucks underneath here, and you can feel it going back even to the bottom of the edge of the metalwork here. It goes all along here. So we're, in essence, adding we're kind of adding cladding, if you will, to this car without it looking like a the new GX where this is just some unpainted, ugly piece of plastic. And then the strip here, again, to, pretend, to protect wear, comes all the way down here. This paint is so beautiful that it's, <laughs> it's more of a mirror at this point. But the paint protection film comes right along here. You can see this corner. They did beautiful radius corners here. And then it carries through to the back of the bumper there and again, tucks up beautifully underneath in here. So again, the full side, and obviously the other side is exactly the same, but the full car now has enough protection that I feel really good about taking it on road trips and not worrying about the fact that we have paint on this car all the way down to the ground. So yeah, that's PPF, and I am so, so happy, so thrilled with how this came out. I have absolutely no hesitation now taking this thing on long road trips on the freeway, taking it on cottage trails, anywhere where I might pick up some road debris that would otherwise, again, scratch, chip, whatever the car. Um, the team at Authentic Details did an amazing job, so to Kevin and team, thank you so much. 
We so appreciate your hard work. Um, again, this was not sponsored, and here I am going to share the pricing of what we paid for this job. Um, it was not a pretty penny. It was about $2,500, so let's say 26 something um, after tax, which is a lot of money, I agree, but when you consider the fact that, again, this was a sixty-eight dollars to $70,000 car out the door, $2,000, $2,500, not a bad deal to give yourself a lot of protection because it cost a lot more if I ever had to replace the bumper, replace the spender, replace the hood because it was getting scratched up or chipped up or anything like that. The other thing that's kind of cool about what they do at Authentic Details is this whole job, the whole wrap, everything I showed you here on this car has a 10 year warranty. So if anything starts to yellow, which I don't even know if you'd really see that on a black car, but if it started to yellow, if it starts to peel, if it starts to bubble or fail or in any way, all we do is take it right back to them. They'll fix it, they'll replace it, whatever they need to do, and it'll be good as new again. So yeah, that's PPF for any of you. I got so many comments on my last GX video, which go watch that if you haven't seen it. And it, I just love this car. I won't get into it here because we could be here for a few hours. But if you have, if you're one of those folks out there who are about to pick up your brand new 23 GX or have recently gotten a brand new 23 GX, Highly, highly recommend doing paint protection film on it because like a lot of you out there, this is the car that will be staying with us until the wheels fall off. So the more we can do to keep it looking this way, brand new, just like it just left the dealer, um, I think is worth doing. So anyway, that is a wrap. Uh, that is a wrap on the paint protection film. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Questions and comments, leave them downstairs. If you're in Austin, check out Authentic Details. Uh, go Google them. I will put a link to them down in the description below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing week or weekend whenever you're watching this and take care.